Just wanted to jump on a minute ahead of time. See if we can get anybody to hop on with us. Hope you're doing well this evening. I'm gonna wait. Hi, Shirley. Glad you're here. Hey, John. Just jumping on. <laughs> Just jumping on a little early, see if we can get some interaction this evening. I'm glad you're here, John. I'm glad you're here, Shirley. Okay. Well, I just want to welcome everybody to Gethsemane 7 at 7 for your seven minutes of encouragement, seven days a week at 7 p.m. Uh, I'm so glad to be here this evening. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to share our church contact information in case anybody needs it. Um, if you need help or if you need to chat with somebody about some things that you're going through, you can call the church at 812 422-1902. You can shoot us a text message at 812-432-2662, or you can visit our website at gcforme.org. Okay, so uh, I am, I was praying about what to share for my seven minutes, and um, I just, uh-oh, what happened? Sorry. So, um, I just kept getting to talk about thoughts again, and I don't want to be, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I know that I'm still dealing with some, and I just find it hard to imagine that I'm the only one. So I'm going to share with you what the Holy Spirit has been teaching me. Um, so I, for those of you that didn't see la my last week, 7 at 7, I was talking about how um, I'm dealing, still dealing with some thoughts from kind of a long time ago that I thought were dealt with and we were good to go and um the holy spirit told me how showed me how to deal with those and kind of a short list of that is he said to let those thoughts come but take inventory when they do to ask him to show me where the root source is as soon as that thought comes Say, hey, God, where's the true root source of this? Use his word to address it and to learn more about how my mind works. So part of learning more, I was watching um, one of my favorite people speak. His name is Jimmy Evans, and he was doing a sermon about overcoming the battle of your mind. Um, so I'm going to share just some key points and some things that God showed me through that. And uh, Jimmy was talking about how we all acquire multiple strongholds in our minds throughout our life. They can be fear, lust, uh, worry, jealousy, anxiety, um, depression, self-hate, the list goes on. And But every single time we hear and speak the truth of God's word, it helps to break those down, which is part of why we want to do our seven at seven is to help you uh, keep hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. And, you know, after we accept Christ, a lot of times I think many people just think, OK, all of my strongholds are broken. I'm completely set, set free, which is true. But here's kind of the caveat of that. Um, you know, if somebody was chained up, let's say they were in shackles their entire life. And all of a sudden, their shackles are off. They may jump up and run around and be super excited, but it's kind of like, okay, then what? What's my next step? They've never been free before, so they don't know how to think like a free person. They don't know how to act like a free person. And it's sort of the same um, after we accept Christ. We, Christ has made us righteous through him. But we don't know how to think like a righteous person yet. And we don't know how to act like a righteous person yet. So that's part of why we have to we have to retrain our minds to think the way our spirit does. And not like the world. 
which is why I believe why the Bible tells us we have to renew our minds. And that's not just a one-time deal. Um, and then uh, as I was listening, Jimmy Evans goes on to talk about how we're the gatekeeper of our minds. And every thought, he said, every thought must be scrutinized by Jesus. If it doesn't pass the test, it's out. And um, that reminded me of one of my favorite verses as of the past couple years, 2 Corinthians 10.5. It says the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood. Our weapons are divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. In other words, strongholds. We are destroying sophisticated arguments and every exalted and proud thing that sets itself uh, itself up against the true knowledge of God. And we are taking every thought and purpose captive to the obedience of Christ. And that last part where it says every thought and purpose captive to the obedience of of Christ, that is actually translated that we're to take every thought at spear point. And that's a really aggressive and active stance. But it's so, so important that we uh, truly scrutinize every thought and hold those thoughts that come up against the knowledge of God at spear point. Well, okay, we do that. I've got this, this thought captive. Now what do I do with it? There are some next steps. We can't just stop there. We have to replace it with something else. And here's part one way that we can do that. Philippians 4, it talk, it, the Bible talks to us about what things that we should think about. We should think about things that are true, honorable, trustworthy, lovely, whatever is confirmed by God's word, whatever brings peace, etc., All of those good, wonderful things. And when we start thinking about those things, we automatically go into an attitude of thanksgiving, praise, and worship. Okay? So I'm just going to give you an example. Uh, I am really thankful, and um, this is true, and it's praiseworthy, it's lovely that God has helped me to deal with depression. Okay? Okay? So when I start to think about the the thing, I think about how much God has delivered me from, and I become so thankful. I just think, thank you, God, for helping me, for never leaving me. Thank you for showing me a different way to think, all of those things. I'm automatically going into thanking God, praising Him, and worshiping God. And also in Philippians 4, it says that in a place of worship and gratitude and thankfulness, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds uh, like a military guard and that we will, we will have peace. So thinking about those things, worshiping, praising brings us to a place of peace. And I just, I wanted to share this with you because I wanted you to know if you're having a difficult time for one thing, you're not by yourself. Okay. Um, and I know that spending a lot of time alone or a lot of time cooped up can actually uh, add to to some of those issues with thoughts. But I just want to encourage you to to uh, to be brave enough to work it out with God. God will help you. I guarantee that He's helped me in so many things, and I know that He will help you if you will just take some time, talk to Him, have some quiet time with Him learn about him, uh, and I, I guarantee that he will give you peace. I hope this has helped you. Uh, if you would like to listen to the message that I'm referencing, I will be sure to put it in the comments after uh, the live video is over. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.